Hey everybody, it's me Jules again. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't do this review the day that this episode actually aired. It's just I've been so busy with school, you know, selling books, uh, buying books, materials, and whatnot. But anyway, this episode of Supernatural, pretty good. I loved it. And it's also wonderful to see Charlie Bradbury again. Although I don't know what name she's going by now, but we're all just going to call her Charlie. And pretty much it kind of this episode pretty much contains the similar themes to Heroi Hunteri, you know, the one with the cartoons. But instead of cartoons, we're doing LARPing, which is I found pretty cool. LARPing I was never really into the medieval type of LARPing, but it's still pretty damn cool. Here where I live, we would LARP. We would. It's just that we we don't have the money or the materials or let alone the suppliers to supply the costumes or the means to create camps like that. But it would really be cool. We we here on Guam we talk about that all the time. Like what it would be like if we could LARP, you know. Even just for a day. It would be very cool. But anyway, this uh, episode even the unlike uh, Heroi Hunteri, even though diving into the realm of fantasy is sometimes bad when you dive in too deep and take it too seriously and lose your grip on reality, can sometimes be a good thing, you know, considering all the crap that Sam and Dean had to go through, you know, Sam breaking up with Amelia and uh, Dean breaking away from Benny. So pretty much considering all they're going through, and, you know, Sam being on this whole dedicated to work thing, it's good for them to actually just lay back and actually dive into the realm of fantasy. And in the words of Satana, well, without a hint of fantasy, life's just life. I just, like, really can see Charlie as, like, in, at least in terms of women, Charlie is, like, the female equivalent of Dean. It's like she really has her way with women, as you could tell from the elf and the fairy. Seriously. I'm very sure that gained like a lot of guy uh, viewers' attention, I guess. That's going to be the most infamous scene in throughout all of Supernatural, and seeing as it's what makes Charlie so awesome. Um, also, um, I... I was just very glad that they killed off Vort something, I don't know, I didn't remember his name, it's just, I really hated him the moment I saw him. Like, I, I could totally tell that he's the bad guy here, it's like the guy you least expect, or and he was being so helpful and whatnot, but the reason why I hated him so much, the first time we see him, he's like one of those very extreme kind of geeks, like they're extremist geeks, that they're very over analytical they're very anal and also very critical like how they he was criticizing Sam and Dean's badges like I hate those kinds of geeks I even hate the the extreme a uh, type of otakus who are like so analytical and just like won't even appreciate their attempt at cosplaying or something I mean yeah Sam and Dean weren't uh, LARPing it's just I hate those kinds of extremists like if you're cosplaying and one thing is wrong, like they're just gonna hack at it, they're just gonna keep poking at it, keep teasing you about it. It's just I hate that. Or if you get one type of uh, detail or trivia in a comic book or a manga or an anime wrong, they're just gonna like, they're just gonna like see you as a noob or, and just tease you, uh, poking at your insecurity when in actuality they're just losers in real life. But unlike Charlie, you know, you can be a geek, however, don't be smug about it, and also have a kick-ass personality, and apparently tap some ass, suck some face, or maybe some fairy and elf face. But pretty much, Charlie is awesome, and she, she literally is like the little sister that Sam and Dean uh, never had, or should have had. Uh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Again, on the guy who's controlling the fairy, um, this is like the first time we ever see like an actually good magical being. Like, the last time they met a, a fairy, he was evil. And also, you know, I guess you can count the angels as somewhat good, but you still get that intimidating feeling. With the fairy, you get 
a very good vibe from her, not really intimidating. I mean, you know what she's capable of doing, but it wasn't her fault. She was being manipulated. So, in my case, I consider the fairy to be the more... actually the more good character in this series. It's like, I really get a good feeling off of her. And also, not counting that Charlie was just lip-locking with her most of the time. But anyway, um, this episode was good, and a great way to help me uh, relax after my hectic first few days of school. Okay guys, I'll see you later, and thanks to Charlie, this is how I'll be ending my videos. Peace out bitches, I'll see you later.